I'm sorry, buddy. But there's just no room for you right now. We'll bring you back soon. Hey, you. Let's do a review. Welcome back, everybody, to the 10-Bit YouTube channel. I am Harry. I am the host of this and my podcast. If you have not yet listened to the show, you can check it out in the description below. If you are new here, please subscribe. Hit the uh, bell notification. That's what they tell people to do so that they can know when new episodes come out and all sorts of videos and live streams and stuff like that. And if you're returning, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Please like the video. Share with your friends or whatever, whatever you do. I just appreciate you guys being here. It means a lot. Truly, it means a lot. I'm very appreciative of, of all you all. I know a lot of YouTubers say that, but um, I like to think that I'm the most honest YouTuber out there, and uh, I'm, the, I'm the only Perry on YouTube. Really excited to get into this review uh, for you all. This is one product from a line of products that I have not necessarily had the best track record with. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on, but I also want to talk about where this particular bottle came from. This is, of course, an Old Forester single barrel barrel strength product. And this was actually picked by a, a local bar here in Lexington. Kentucky, known as uh, the Thirsty Fox, which has a bourbon club, which I am a part of. Hopped in there a few months back with uh, with my wife, Lucy, got chatting with the bartender. Hey, I have a podcast. Oh, that's cool. What's it about? It's about bourbon. Oh, well, this is perfect for you. We've got a bourbon club. Give us your money. And very quickly did I sign up for their bourbon club. It's $50 a year. That's about as good of a deal as you're gonna get on this particular thing. And you have access to all of their barrel picks that come out. Uh, you also get discounts on tastings and classes and stuff like that. And a couple months after I signed up, I got the notification that this Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength was in. And I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no to it. Also considering the fact that it was picked in partner with the founder of Thirsty Fox, who is also the founder of a slew of restaurants here in Central Kentucky, Weta Michael, uh, who is an incredible chef. She is twice James Beard nominee. Uh, last year, she picked up her second nomination uh, from the James Beard Association. She has been nationally recognized, uh, very, very well respected here in Central Kentucky, and truth be told, just an excellent chef. And she is also, surprisingly, the, I think they call it the chef in residence at Woodford Reserve, uh, at their, their restaurant there. So, what more can you say? Clearly she likes bourbon, clearly she likes Central Kentucky, and uh, this is, as they called it, Weta's first edition. This is a Warehouse L Floor 1 alcohol per volume, 65.05%, so a whopping 130.1. .1. So it'll get you where you need to go. I mean, it's, it's nothing to sniff at. Don't shake a stick at it either. Don't shake a stick at my bourbon. Don't do it. Don't do that. It's bad. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. So b before we get into the, the tasting of it, I'm going to go ahead and pour this so that I have a little bit of time uh, to let it open up in the glass. I want to talk about the struggling relationship that I seem to have with Old Forester and, and Brown Foreman products. It's nothing new. It's nothing that I, I haven't talked about on the podcast before. It's just something that I've kind of had to come to terms with with Old Forester. Uh, their, their limited edition products are usually fine. I mean, the birthday bourbon is pretty good. Uh, I've not ever really had one that's blown me away. Uh, and I think that's probably just a product of the fact that I came into this a little bit later than most people. I think that their base products are good. Not my favorite. The signature bourbon, the 100 proof bourbon is good. It's a really good cocktail bourbon. Uh, and the 100 proof rye as well, that high malt rye mash bill is just 
uh, that might honestly be my favorite product in the entire line. Uh, and I haven't even gotten to the review of this one yet. So we'll get there when we do. But, you know, Old Forester Rye, 100 proof, like what, 20 bucks a bottle for a liter? That is a great value. Maybe I should do a Why It's the Best Value video on that one sometime. So I'll save that for later. I'll save it for later. Not yet. We got other stuff we got to get to. So th this was a product that was introduced in 2020. The first iterations of it kind of came towards the end of the year. We're seeing more of them as we get into 2021 as well. And it's following suit with some of the other barrel proof products that are out there on the market from Old Forester, the 150th series. Uh, this also spawned the single barrel barrel proof rye from Old Forester, which uh, contrary to their 100 proof, people are having, they're having some issues with it. And I haven't tried it yet. I'd like to, um, to get, get my, my thoughts on it, but I'm a little, I'm a little scared. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about this Old Forester single barrel, barrel strength bourbon from the Thirsty Fox, from Weta Michael. Let's get into the nose, see what we've got going on here. Also, as, as you can tell, um, this has been open for a little bit, so it's had some air time. I'm not unfamiliar with this, this bourbon. I've enjoyed it. Got it back in April or May. Time has no meaning since the thing that happened last year. I don't want to get taken out of the algorithm. I know how these things work. I know how you do YouTube intern. Thanks for watching my live streams every Thursday, by the way. All right, let's check out the nose. It's got this really delicate kind of bouquet. Right up front, there's brown sugar and, and banana. There's a little zest of lemon on there as well. And, and this banana, I think, is it's important to note that this is not an uncommon trait when we talk about brown foreman products and when we talk about Old Forester specifically. This is just a note that people get and love it or hate it, it's there. And you, you either have to accept it and, and move on or you just don't, you don't care for it. And I think in some capacities, I'm not a big banana person. Um, I'll take a banana dessert, maybe banana runts. Um, don't really care for uh, banana Laffy Taffy. I could take all of it, ship it out to sea, and it can belong out there with the rest of its salt saltwater brethren. I just don't want any. I don't want any of it. I don't like it. It's really bad. But I think that in this particular context, in the context of some brown foreman products, and I will even extend this to Jack Daniel's Single Barrel Barrel Proof, which, it, truth be told, is a whiskey I love. I, I mean, I'm, I'll be straight up about it. I think it's a great product. And I'm, I'm not going to make any apologies or bones about it. That's just how it is, man. That's just how it is. I know I'm a Kentucky boy, but Jack Daniel's Single Barrel Barrel Proof... Uh, it's just it's just one of the best whiskeys on the market. I'll have to do a video about that too someday. Why uh, it's one of the best values. I know. I see where I'm going. I'm giving myself more work. Uh, but I'm happy to do it. So, Oh, it's also kind of got this... It's almost like a potpourri perfume note. Which, nine times out of ten, I would say I don't really like. But in this case, it's giving everything else that it's being surrounded by and kind of engulfed by the opportunity to raise up and be more prominent. And so instead of overpowering everything, it, it's kind of just providing this nice little cradle for some of the darker notes. The oak is very present, not in like an overly oaky LE kind of way that you might get with some very high aged bourbons. But the, the it, you can tell that this sat in the barrel for a while and I uh, got a got a lot of influence. I mean, look at that color. That's not that's nothing to shake a stick at. There's even a little bit of like a dark chocolate, almost like a cacao nib uh, note on there as well, which I really like. It's good. It's got a lot of complexity, a lot of depth to it. You can tell that this is a product that was curated by somebody who knows how to build a flavor profile and how to build a palette. And I, I'm not surprised. That this uh, is the product of somebody who is well versed in the culinary arts. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say cheers to Wita. I'm going to say cheers to you all. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you tuning into this video. Cheers, guys. Let's taste it. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That 130 proof is evident. 
Oh, that Kentucky hug. Oh, it burns so good. It feels just... It's 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 good. It's good. <laughs> all all of the um, slight pain aside, um, this is a really interesting, different, diverse pour from somebody like Old Forester, and I'm so happy that this product <laughs> exists, not just in my collection, but just kind of in general. I mean, it's really good. It's really good. And everything that kind of I liked about the nose is present. I don't really find that, that potpourri note uh, on the palate, but the the caramelliness of it, the, the chocolate cacao-ness of it, uh, the baking spices, it's all so present and so well-crafted. And, and again, I think this is just so indicative of what makes Weta Michael a great chef and what has made her so successful and i'm i'm really really a fan of of this i've only ever really had a couple other old forester single barrel barrel strengths but th this i think that this is the product from old forester that might have tipped the scale for me and given me a uh, a point of entry. The problem with this, though, <laughs> is that it's not a regularly available product. So you're only really going to be able to find Old Forester barrel strength, single barrel barrel strength, from picks, from groups, from stores, maybe restaurants, too. I mean, this is a good example of how you could get one from a restaurant or a bar or a cafe or whatever the heck. But it's... um. It's different. It's different, and I think that it's a good indication of how people should be viewing the future of Old Forester. I think that they kind of gave people an insight into what some of these components are that, that make up some of these higher-end products from their, their company in the form of the 150th collection uh, that came out last year. Um, and, and this is just... It's just a really solid bourbon, man. It, I, I'll say, though, i got to have another drink before we get out of here. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Ah, Oh, man, it makes me feel like I'm breathing fire. It's like I'm just going, ah. I think if I had to nitpick anything about this, I think, and, and this is just kind of something that I run into quite often with Old Forester products, there's not a whole lot of complexity on the finish. I would like for the finish to have a little bit more to it, but... All that being said, I, I mean, it keeps me wanting to go back for another drink. I, I don't find myself dreading it. I don't find myself thinking, well, I'd rather be drinking something else. I mean, sure, yeah, I'd, I'd think that it's easier probably to drink a Rare Breed or a Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. But, I mean, in this case, I'm, I'm not mad about it. I'm perfectly happy with it. So, I, I implemented a, a review system here on YouTube that is different from the one that we use on the podcast. The one we use on the podcast is four-tiered. It's nose, palette, finish, price. Uh, but here, I like to just kind of make it a little bit simpler. And so, it's yay, nay, or meh. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think this is one of the best products that Old Forester has put out in a long while. It's certainly uh, up there for my favorite. I'm going to give this a big ol' yay. So, get you one if you can find one. Uh, typically, they're around $80, $90. But if it's from a good picking team, it's from a group of people that you, you fully believe in and you've had good experiences with, I think that this is going to be something that you should seek out. So, I'll leave it at that. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you have made it this far, leave a comment down below. What's your favorite Old Forester product? And uh, are you curious about what the single barrel barrel strengths have to offer? Are you considering buying one? Would you like to buy one? Would you like to see non-pick editions of it? Let us know. Comments below. If you have also not yet, please subscribe. 
hit the like button, the bell notification, all that good stuff. Really helps out the channel, and I appreciate all of that. Uh, if you've not followed us yet on social media, it's at MyBourbonPod on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, you can send us questions, comments. This is MyBourbonShop at gmail.com. All of our apparel and merchandise is at BourbonShop.Threadless.com. And then last but not least, Patreon.com slash MyBourbonPodcast is where you can support the show for as little as a dollar a month. Five bucks a month gets you some extra bonus content. That does it. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go try to finish this and not breathe more fire. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time on the next Timbip YouTube video. Till then, I'm Perry, and this is the Timbip YouTube channel.